It's time for base winner to shine. It's time for both these guys to shine and for me to shut up. It's our series of the week. We've, this week, we've got the Rangers and the Yankees beat up on Friday. It looks like we've got Bradford and Rodon. We'll talk about that a little bit tomorrow. On Saturday, it looks like the Battle of the Aces, Eovaldi and Garrett Cole. And then on Sunday, the Battle of Pitchers Past Their Prime who probably need to go in Heaney and Stroman. What do we think about this series? Is it just all Yankees? But uh, Or, you know, if I get plus money on the Rangers here, I could see Rodon and Stroman sort of imploding here. What do you think here, Yankees, Rangers this weekend beat up? Yeah, if you look at uh, break it down game by game, the, the Friday game, it's it's an interesting handicap for me because I've got Bradford versus Rodon, and I don't think there's that much between the pitchers. And I like Rodon. He's he's uh, 25th in the base winner ratings, uh, 24% run run suppression uh, decrease than an average pitcher. But Bradford's an interesting guy because he doesn't really have a lot of starts, but he's got six starts, and his base winner ERA in those six starts from a median standpoint is 3.32. So uh, I think that the rating in the model, which is 11% better than average, is justified there. Anyway, I've got this game priced. Even say, saying all that, the disparity in, in offense, the, the Yankees' best offense in baseball versus an offense with the Rangers that's 24th in baseball. And then uh, Texas usually gets an advantage in the model because I really do like their bullpen. I've got them second in baseball, but the Yankees are third, so you don't really get that much of an edge. For the first game, I've got it priced at minus 174. And then we go to uh, the Saturday game. The Saturday game features Eovaldi versus Cole, both really good pitchers. In fact, I've got these guys rated probably about equal. One of the things uh, on a side note is I'm experimenting with first three draws inspired by Corby on one of the shows that we've done. Anyway, these guys are very even from a from a rating standpoint. I've got uh, Eovaldi ranked 15th out of 147 pitchers and Cole ranked 18th. Uh, you put it in the mixer uh, with with that being said, uh, I've got this game priced with the Yankees minus 116. And Kyle, you made a really good point about the Sunday game. You look at the Sunday game and you say these guys, these two guys are has-beens. And I would make a make a, a case that Haney was never a bin. Maybe right. Cor- Cor- <laughs> Stroman, Stroman was a bin. But yeah, Stroman is actually the worst-rated pitcher uh, in, in the base winner ratings. Uh, a run suppression number of increase of 47%. Increase of runs uh, for Haney now is 6%. Uh, I've got this game actually priced because of the, the starting uh, pitching disparity with the Rangers being the favorite at minus 137. You put those games together, you get a minus 113 aggregate. You put it into the uh, into the, the, the vaster probability binomial calculator. It should be about, for, in my opinion, about minus 125 for the series, Kyle. Uh, <laughs> VW do such a great job. On the series of the week, uh, I saw Nick Martinez's name, and I went ahead and looked it up. And there's a whole Reddit section that says Martinez has to have the tightest pants in baseball with hundreds and hundreds. This is going all the way back to May of 2022. So Nick Martinez has been on the tight pants game now for almost three years, Corby. Is that the guy? Yeah, uh, I was watching Nick Martinez versus the Marlins on the 5th. It was his birthday, um, and he was only supposed to go two innings pitched. Those tight pants gave him some firepower, and he went five. So I lost my strikeout prop there, um, and I just I had to sit there and watch tight pants destroy one of my Ooh. bets, which is just it's interesting. Nick, Nick Martinez, Robbie Ray, if you were to choose, if you were to choose public figures for baseball who should wear them, neither of them would get the nod. Um, it, it's a bad yeah. look. They have a picture of him. I mean, this thing it goes back two years ago. There's comments Nick Martinez, and it's all these. Big, we might have to do an all bulge team on this show. Just you know, <laughs> Robbie Ray wins. Rob, <laughs> Reddit.com. Martinez has oh. to have the tightest pants in baseball. That's that's hilarious. <laughs> it's just right there, and it just goes on and on and on and on and on. Uh, there's a lot of Walker Bueller in that uh, in that thread as well as we digress. But, Corby, what do you think about this series of the week uh, this weekend? We've got the defending champs against the Yankees. Pretty good series here. Rangers been wildly inconsistent, I think, is one kind way to put it this year. The Yankees getting healthier, right? See, it seems like they're sort of rounding into form a little bit. What do you think here? Yeah, it's going to be all overs for me. Uh, overs are nothing in basically every game of the series. Like Even if you go to the, the game where I think probably the best pitching – 
on both sides. Um, Eovaldi versus Gary Cole. Base runner makes him even. And though I would be in Gary Cole, I kind of I have an affiliation for Gary Cole. I've, I've liked him for a while. But um, you look at both of these guys, a ton of pitches, uh, 194 for Eovaldi, 137 for Cole. A 19% strikeout rate for Eovaldi, 280 batting average. Garrett Cole, 30% strikeout rate. He's, uh, he's a very good strikeout thrower, but a 300 batting average versus Rangers lineup. So a ton of sample size, um, and I don't, I don't think their stuff works as well as people give them credit for. In a stadium like Yankee Stadium, which dimensions are so weird, overs are nothing for me. Um, you could probably get like a third inning live better because this Yankees team is so top heavy. If you get a no run first inning, no run second inning, a good live number on the over in the third inning of these games. 